thank you very much for the invitation to come and speak today. I mean, I, I, I know it's like to kind of be the token ethicist who works on large projects. And I guess what I'm going to try to do today in a very limited amount of time is perhaps explain the differences between some different kinds of ethics research, try to convince you that ethics is an opportunity, not a barrier, and um, try to outline some ways you could, or really one way, so very limited time, how you can potentially incorporate ethics research into research programs. I think most people are familiar with ethics as a governance process, something that's bureaucratic, something that puts barriers in the way to doing what you want to do. Um, I have a colleague I've done a lot of work with in Sri Lanka who likes the phrase ethics is a friend of research. And I think that's absolutely right, but it's not just to do with research ethics, there's also ethics research, and that's something people are a bit less familiar with potentially. I'm pressing the wrong keyboard, yeah, there we are. So to try and establish the difference between research ethics and ethics research, we can think of research um, of ethics in terms of ethics as governance and ethics as inquiry. And the aim of ethics as governance is to provide for the ethical conduct of research. It's basically this process we all have to go through to get ethics approval, to follow the rules, and essentially it's a um, dictum to behave, that we don't trust you, we know what researchers get up to, they'll get up to all sorts of things if there's not yeah, governance processes and a big stick that we can wave to say um, you'll get this if you don't behave. Um, that ethics as a barrier, I'm not saying that is not valuable, I think it is important, but there's more to ethics than that. That's basic ethics. <coughs> so that's the kind of stuff, you know, you try to teach <coughs> children. It's kind of parenting, it's just you know, be naughty. Um, what I'd like to encourage you is to think about ethics as inquiry. Ethics research as an opportunity to generate new knowledge and as a research activity in and of itself. And there's two kinds of knowledge related to the kinds of research um, you might be doing. There's new knowledge about how to undertake research ethically. So as new research develops, as we develop new ways of understanding the world with AI and in, in psych psychiatry, it may well generate new research ethics challenges. So if we're attentive to ethics as a process of inquiry, from the very beginning, we can be attentive to new research ethics challenges that might develop. So whenever um, people are asked to write in an ethics application form or a funding application, what are the ethical implications? We tend to go to the standard tropes, and I see quite a few that say, oh, there's none. And that's always nonsense, there's always some. There's some we know we can predict, and there's some we don't know about. So building ethics as inquiry into any and all research programs can help us identify and um, be attentive to new ethical issues in research, which means that when we come across them, we can deal with them in an appropriate way. Then we can also think about knowledge about ethics as inquiry in terms of generating new ethical knowledge about the subject of investigation. So this is what are the ethical issues arising? Should we be concerned about it? Should we be celebrating? I think another concern that people often have about ethics research is to think of the ethicists as the people stood over someone's shoulder saying, don't do that, don't do that, that's wrong. Um, ethics can be an opportunity in terms of, we can look at reasons for why we should be doing something. Because we're mostly familiar with ethics and governance, we think of it as rules that might stop us, reasons to not do something. We can also use ethics to explore why we should be doing something. It's not just about the harms and the risks, it can be about the benefits. And we can look at the world in terms, in terms of trying to balance that. But ethics as inquiry can help us understand the reasons to do something. It can very much support research. So we definitely need both ends of the spectrum for research in AI and precision psychiatry. We need both kinds of knowledge, and we should be developing knowledge about the subject of investigation. This will help us guide the research agenda. Ethics starts before we even start that funding application form. Should we even be doing this? It helps us facilitate benefits, it helps us minimize harms that can result in what we're doing, and it can facilitate acceptability in patient and public populations, and it can help build trust. 
Um, and we should also be looking to develop knowledge about the um, ethical conduct of research, which helps us protect um, research participants and will facilitate trust in research. So ethics as governance and ethics as inquiry are both important, but ethics as inquiry can help us build knowledge about how we should conduct research and about what we should be researching. In so rapidly, so there's lots and lots of scope to conduct ethics research alongside research interests in psychiatry and AI. There are issues around recruitment and consent, and um, lots about regulation. Um, I'd like to propose the embedded ethics research as a nice way to do this. So this is not somebody who is just sat working separately from you know, somebody who's actually embedded in the team. And I can see my time is up, five minutes goes incredibly quickly. Um, I have to run straight away, I've got to go and be on an interview. Pardon my apologies. I'm easily findable if anyone has any questions or would like to discuss how to do this, get in touch. And if I can't help, I can put you in touch with somebody who can. <laughs>